Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Good afternoon, colleagues, and uh, happy to join you. Unfortunately, I couldn't be in person, but yet uh, decided to join even through the virtual opportunity presented uh, uh, through the um, virtual virtual platform. So uh, hello, everyone. I'm Lily Gray with UNESCO New York office, and I'm happy to engage today with the discussion. Uh, we know we are all at a critical turning point in human history with paradoxical development trends challenging our common nature. And uh, I'm happy that uh, Lily already introduced the framework by referring to the real purpose of uh, education. What has come through uh, various consultations uh, and engagement processes is that we must urgently change course and transform the future. While the international community certainly is fully aware and cognizant that the knowledge and education are key to shaping more just and sustainable futures. Yet at the present moment, uh, the ways of organizing education and structuring learner opportunities across the world are not sufficiently ensuring equal opportunity, justice, human flourishing, a livable planet and a shared progress that benefits all. Indeed, uh, as we have heard from Sarah and Lily, there is a, a, a recognized urgency to transform education. Uh, this urgency has become increasingly evident, particularly in the wake and follow-up of the COVID-19 economic and social disruption. Uh, yet, we also recognize that the challenge does not fully result from insufficient means. It is also rooted in uh, so far, our inability to think differently about knowledge, learning, and education. So indeed, um, as part of the process for the Transforming Education Summit, UNESCO has engaged into um, um, the, 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 with uh, its partners in, in taking forward the understanding how education and learning can be reimagined through inter through interdisciplinary research, foresight, public policy dialogue, and innovation. Uh, in this process of transforming education. Uh, you've already heard that, uh, and you know very well that uh, in September, we have the Transforming Education Summit. Next week, uh, um, the, the next week uh, UNESCO is happy to host the pre-summit. Uh, and uh, as Sarah mentioned, there is a full day dedicated to the youth engagement uh, that will result with a uh, youth declaration um, so we hope to have uh, some uh, uh, real meaningful participation from all the youth networks to and to result into a very bold, very aspirational um, uh, youth declaration. I, if you allow me, uh, I'll briefly touch upon on the, um, uh, the, 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 the particular focuses of Transforming Education Summit. You might know that uh, the summit uh, has uh, three work streams. One of them is uh, national consultations and regional consultations uh, targeting identification of the challenges, the gaps, capacities, but also putting forward proposal for formulation for strategies that can uh, drive the uh, transformation at local and regional level. So that has been already uh, taking place in, in, in a number of member states. Uh, UNESCO, UNICEF the, um, and other UN partners are supporting uh, national governments um, in a number of countries. And we are hopeful that next week, already at the pre it will have some concrete examples uh, and outcomes from such uh, national consultations. The second kind of work stream um, is indeed the work stream uh, that is called the thematic action tracks. And if you allow me, I will uh, briefly touch upon on the, these thematic action tracks. Um, they are indeed um, um, uh, frame, frameworks that are driving forward identification of e key elements of transformation for education. The so-called first uh, action track is the uh, inclusive and healthy schools. And uh, within this uh, thematic action track, the, a key element is placed on the COVID-19 disruption that indeed has brought into focus the importance of the physical and social side of the school as a foundation for inclusive and cohesive societies. 
Looking into the future, the interconnections between schools and other familial, digital, professional, cultural, and natural spaces of learning must be strengthened. Uh, so indeed, uh, the, the, these thematic action tracks is looking at good examples to be, build on both in formal and non-formal education. So let's see what comes out through the pre-summit uh, towards the summit in this thematic action track. Thematic action track two focuses on teacher, teachers. We all know and recognize that this is a, a key element um, for any educational systems and teachers have a, a key role to play. So indeed the global learning crisis is for, first and foremost a teacher's teaching crisis. We have shortage of qualified teachers and their inequitable distribution within countries remains a key challenge in too many contexts. Teachers are not only key to the quality of education, but also to the future resilience of education systems. And teaching profession must be valued both politically and socially. Therefore, the future of teaching must become more collaborative through teamwork and networking and adequate professional support. That was actually thematic action track three, but uh, so now I'm moving to thematic action track two. Very briefly, uh, thematic action through focuses on learning and skills for the future. The future is by definition a certain and learning and skills must contribute to individual and collective well-being in the face of uncertain economic, social and environmental futures. And one way of doing this is through more ecological, intercultural and interdisciplinary curricula. Here we are talking both of uh, foundational skills that must be ensured. Uh, for example, at present, basic literacy, literacy remains a challenge for too many youth around the world, if you can imagine, which absolutely undermines development efforts. One in five youth are not in education, in training or employment. And indeed, that's why we need a targeted action to scale up uh, in order to ensure SDG4 commitment to universal youth literacy by 2030. Within that thematic action track, there are also key elements uh, for transformative education, um, as UNESCO would like to frame it. And here we are talking about education for sustainable development, including education for climate change, education for global citizenship, education for human rights and others. Uh, so the fourth important thematic action track where we want to identify through the, the Transforming Education Summit uh, a key elements of transformation is the digital learning. Again, the COVID-19 educational disruption has underlined the importance of using digital technologies to support, but really not replace the essential roles of teachers and schools. So we need to center the most marginalized in these efforts to, in order to close the digital divide in both its technical and human dimensions. And yeah, we know that connectivity is very important, yet it's not enough. We need public digital education platforms with quality assured learning content, uh, content aligned with national standards. They are, a good examples that these thematic action tracks have identified for uh, strengthening public digital education system during the pandemic. And uh, as we look to the future, more attention definitely needs to be paid to pedagogical innovation to make the fullest use of the interactive educational experiences that connected technologies have to offer. Um, uh, last but not least, the uh, fifth thematic action track is the one on financing of education. And of course, uh, to properly serve our societies and our common future education must remain a public good and a collective responsibility. At such, education requires sufficient and sustainable public funding. The existing education funding gap will continue unless determined domestic and international public action is taken to prioritize fi financing of education, uh, unless we encourage civil society engagement and advocacy in order to improve equity and efficiency in public education spending and strengthen taxation systems. So this is, uh, I'm brief, 
uh, where we are targeting to identify key elements for uh, transformation of education. So we hope through the public engagement, public mobilization uh, work stream, that is the third work stream of the Transforming Education Summit. And that is the work stream where we have involved youth networks and uh, the, uh, how we have mobilized uh, the attention, uh, the participation at the uh, pre-summit in UNESCO. So we really hope hope to, uh, to see some advancements, have some bold proposals. So we are able at the end of this whole process that has lasted uh, uh, more, a little bit more than half a year to be able to say that we fulfill this really ambitious, um, uh, th th this big ambition of the Secretary General International Community to identify a clear vision how we are going forward. And definitely the role of youth is key. We really count on you on every single one of you to be bold, to be ambitious, to be proactive uh, and to engage in, uh, in the various platforms in order to make them, um, in order to push the, the boundaries uh, uh, of uh, international agreements on education. Uh, apologies, I might have taken more than the uh, given time, but I just wanted to share at least a, a little bit at length on, on these uh, few points. Thank you and over to you.